From 1853 to 1929, over 150,000 homeless orphans were sent west to new homes and new lives on orphan trains. Yeah, I know it's a cold night to have to make a buck. Probably like a lump of sugar or something. Hey, Charlie, you got to start taking better care of old Susie here. Back to work, old girl. Good evening. Mister, got the time? Let me pass. But really, sir, I gotta know the time. All right, time. What I said. Danny, Danny, hold his arm! Help! Hurry up! Guess what? Please! Help! Fight him! Ah! Come on, Billy! I got his watch. Let's go. Ah! Put that back and sit down. I am the assistant commissioner for juvenile corrections. Sit up straight. Your mother died five years ago. Where's your father? Dunno. Uh-huh. Where do you live? Don't live nowhere. Uh-huh. Shoplifting, pickpocket, burglary, assault. Escape from the arms house, eight convictions in three years. You've been a busy little boy, haven't you? I didn't do anything. Shut up. Your sentence is up tomorrow, after which you are to be taken back to the arms house, which is where you belong. But some reformers at the Children's Aid Society have other ideas. They've been taking certain orphans and sending them out west, placing them with families, usually farmers. They've convinced the court it would be rehabilitative for you to have this chance. The court cannot force you to accept foster care out of its jurisdiction. There's a train leaving tomorrow. I want your decision now. Is Danny going? He is.
children are well disciplined and possessed of pleasant personalities. We can always use an extra pair of hands. Should the trial period prove unsatisfactory, arrangements can be made to return the child to the appropriate agent. No, my farm's doing well enough. We can feed one more. Not me. I hear they're all big city riffraff that'll steal you blind if you let them. Those kids will never fit in here. <laughs> what about you, Anderson? You're gonna die in the traces trying to make something out of that homestead with only your missus and one young'un. Here's your chance for some free labor. Our homestead provides. I think free labor is not a good reason to take one of these children. Oh, there she is. Where's that team of Belgians of yours, Anderson? You saving them for the horse draw next month? <laughs> I got $10, says they can't outpull my purchase. It would be a shame to take your money, Mr. Slater. Make it 20. I tried to pick my pocket indeed. Keep your hands off. Do you have your bag? Come along, children. Come along, step lively. Just line up down there. Yes? Can you manage? My name is Hill, and this is Mr. Dobbins. We represent the Children's Aid Society and are looking for good homes for these unfortunate youngsters. In committing to provide a home, you must agree to educate them at least four months a year, to provide religious training, and to treat them in every way as members of your own family. I will now introduce the children. This young man, with all the freckles, is named Warren. He is 10 years old. And here we have a sturdy lad whose name is Matthew. He is also 10. This is Anna. She is eight years old. Here we have Danny. He is 12. And this is Billy, who is 13 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, you have met the children. It is time now to step forward and make your selections. You want to come home with me, son? You look fit enough. A little hard work shouldn't do you any harm. Would you like to be my little girl? That is your name? Danny. Oh, well, we live on a farm. Would you like to come live with us? Uh, uh. I guess I'm leaving, Billy. Got it off the conductor. Danny. Billy. Is that your name?
Do your chores. Christina. Olaf, this is Billy. He's from the orphan train. He will be living with us. Olaf, show Billy the pump so he can wash for dinner. Jag trodde att vi hade kommit överens om att inte ta emot ett av dessa barn. Ingen annan ville ha honom. Jag kunde inte lämna honom där ensam. No one wanted him. Yeah. But Nils, is it wise? We don't know anything about him. I thought we had agreed not to take one of these children. What would you have me do? It's our Christian duty. We will try it. I set another place. Are you really an orphan? Never seen one before, huh? What'd you expect, that I have horns and a tail? Where'd you come from? New York. I was there once when we came on the ship from Sweden. But I don't remember. We must go in now. You wanna see my calf after supper? Heavenly Father, we are truly grateful for your bounty. We ask your forgiveness for our sins and your blessings on all in this house. In the name of your dear son, Jesus, amen. What was it like on the train? Was there a lot of other kids? I don't know on the train once, didn't I, Mama? Did you also... Oh, love, Billy has had a long journey. Let him eat the supper. She likes you. Sometimes she's afraid of people. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I had a brother. Christian. He died two years ago. He was almost 19. You want to see the hay mail? The what? <laughs> This is a big barn. Papa and Christian built this barn in our house. We had just moved in when my brother and I came down with typhoid. I got well, but Christian didn't. Come on, I'll show you Freya and Tusman. Who? These are the biggest horses I ever saw. Free has over 18 hands. Tucson's a little smaller. They're the best team in this part of the state. You want to feed them? Yeah. What kind of names are those? Swedish. Freya is a girl's name. 
Two sons, the name of some goddess. Who named him? Christian. They were his horses. What do you do living out here in the middle of nowhere? There aren't many kids to play with unless we go to town or visit after church. Sometimes I get awful lonely. But there's lots to do. You'll see. Billy, time for milking. Billy. Billy, time for milking. Oh, it's the middle of the night. On your feet. On your feet. My son and I built this barn with our own hands, and you would burn it down for a smoke. Let's shut our smoke outside for crying out loud. Yeah, sure, you start a fire in the prairie and burn down the house. Obey the rules. And you can live here. Disobey, you go back where you came from, you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand this whole thing isn't gonna work. Change the bedding for the cows. Make sure the mare and foal get plenty of water. We might as well call it off. I don't belong here. I'm not going to spend my days digging holes in the ground and scooping up manure when the animals are just going to do it all over again tomorrow. Make sure the mare and foal get plenty of water. Yeah? Yeah! What's going on? Oh, good morning. Why didn't you wake me up? Nils and Olaf are doing the chores. We thought you could use the sleep. Work is hard here if you're not used to it. What a shame. There's nothing I like better than being woken up in the middle of the night and someone saying, time for milking, time for milking. <laughs> I have biscuits, plum jam, and buttermilk for breakfast. You're going to need some new clothes if you're going to live on the farm. Let's see how this shirt fits you, huh? You've got broad shoulders. Hold out your arm, lift it up. Higher. Higher. I'm trying to fit you so. Ah, ah, ah. So there you are. Take a little in at the back. It'll fit you fine. I have some trousers for you to try on later, too. But you must go to town with Niels this morning. You'll need other things. 
And you must have a good pair of boots. Those shoes won't last another week. Billy, do you have any memory of your family? Just my mother. She's the only family I ever had. But she died of the consumption when I was seven. I'm very sorry. How far is it to town? Oh, about eight miles. And the one after that? The next town? Oh, that's Highland Center. It's about another 10 miles. But that's not a real town. It's more like a railroad camp. The next real town is Central City, and that's almost 40 miles. Thanks for the biscuits. They were good. Thompson? Oh, hello, Anderson. I heard you took in one of the orphan kids. How's it working out? Oh, just great. You should think about trying it yourself. There's more where I come from, you know. Clever little fellow, isn't he? Mrs. Anderson has the smallest, and the boy needs some clothes and uh, a pair of boots. Well, we should be able to take care of him. This is one of the best catalogs I've seen. Very cute. How long for delivery? They guarantee in three weeks, no later. I have to get my oats in by the end of August. Oh, there wouldn't be any problem at all. Right, no problem. problem. Now, about the boots and clothes for the boy. Yes, I'll get them right away. Billy! Olaf! Where are you? more time, Olaf. You can do it this time. Come on. Everybody's a winner in this game. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Red card's a winner. Anyone's a winner. Let's go. Um, that one. Wrong again. All right. One more time, Olaf. Let's try it. Let's go. Keep going. Here we go. Olaf, go to the wagon. But, Papa, no one was... Olaf. How dare you? You cannot clean a story or dig a post hole. But you know how to steal and play the devil's game. Well, you will not teach your sin to Olaf. Maybe I can teach him how to have a little fun. Cards and gambling are not my idea of fun. What is? I haven't seen anything that looks like fun. All I see is rules and work. But then I guess work is why you took me in. That is not true. Why'd you take me in then, huh? Because. When I see you get off the train that day, I think maybe you wish for a fresh start. Maybe that is not what you wish for. But while you are in my house, you will obey God's laws and mine. Now pick up those cards and return them to Mr. Thompson.
Nils told me what happened. It is very wrong to steal, and you must accept that if we are to live together. It was only a deck of cards for crying out loud. Billy, don't you understand? You don't have to steal anymore. Not cards, not anything. You are not alone now. We are here to help you. You'll never like me. Billy, that is not so. I know that Niels is a demanding man, but there is goodness in him, too. Try to understand him. Help him to understand you. You know, when Niels first brought you here, I was not sure he had done right. But now I think it is good for all of us. Already you are very special to Ulf. Supper is almost ready. Try on your new clothes and come down so I can see you. Yeah. I almost forgot. I brought you this. This was Christian's, wasn't it? Until the better dead and skull of the ekfin and ye sinden, it's an elegant fleggy from den, or gun vika den, or for on the um when the yenum for frelsever for losere, skull of eleva, leader or dead till hans era, so what veed all a teeter or xers will he dead and stunned, movi gladly legan or for tray it sayer, hail him, hail him. Hail the get hair in Sabio, then hail a urinal full of Hans Herlegate. Amen. Your team is so good. Why doesn't your pa go against Virgil Slater in the horse pull? Or is he afraid he will lose? He's not afraid of anything. Maybe he will. That's what you said last year, and we never saw your team. Who was that guy? Sven Steen's one. Lights to cause trouble. Well, how do you pull a horse? <laughs> Not pull a horse, a horse pull. It's a contest. You fill a sled with big stones until it's very heavy. Then the teams take turns trying to pull the sled. Each time they add more stones. They keep going until there's only one team left and they win. So you're a pianter? I don't think so. Why not? Afraid they'll have too much fun? Maybe it's too much like gambling. But mostly for Papa, I think Freya and Tuzin are still Christian's horses. Come on, maybe we can drive the team on the way home. Oh, 
Welcome, Oscar. Yes, sir, welcome. Okay. We came for the bull calf, Niels. Mm -hmm. Sure. Olaf, Billy, go to the barn, get a rope, bring the calf. We didn't mean to interrupt your dinner. Oh, no. Nee. You're just in time for dessert. Come in. Smoke? Wish I did. This guy Anderson almost drowned me the last time I lit up. What are these folks like? Well, Lydia and the kid are all right. The old man's hard. All he does is work and pray. People around here got more religion than the nuns in that dump of an orphanage I used to be in. What about your place? Awful. All it is is work and more work. They don't even have any other kids. The old man, he can't even speak good English. He's always jabbering to me in Swedish. This place ain't for me. For two cents, I'd hit the road. Yeah, we don't got two cents. But we gotta get out of here. Let me think on it. I'll find a way. Really? There's gonna be something after church next week. Sunday. Maybe we'll see each other. Here you are. Ah. Looks like a good calf. You like us? Oh, yeah. Ah. Billy? I wanted to make sure they married plenty of water. You like animals, don't you? I guess so. Didn't get much chance to be around them in New York. Well, time for milking. Last year, they opened the Brooklyn Bridge, one of the wonders of the world. 100 feet high and so long you can't see the other side. And I walked across it. It can't be. And at night, when the theater's let out, you can watch the wonderful ladies in diamonds and furs and the gentlemen in top hats. Oh, and you should see the horses and carriages. Not like these plow horses, but swell horses of all kinds. Maybe you should learn a little something about farm horses. I think better of them. 
I know all about plowing. I'm gonna be handling the team by myself any day now. Farmer, eh? And from what I hear, you can't tell the difference between a cow's tit and her tail. In New York, we didn't need to know the difference. But if I can't figure it out, I'll come and ask you. I can tell. You're a real tit and tail expert. You like New York so much. Why don't you and the rest of the dirty orphans go back there? Sven! I made a mistake when I brought him here. Nils, I think you are wrong. Billy is just a boy, a confused, frightened boy. Do you remember how frightened we were when we first got off that terrible boat from Sweden? Hmm. We didn't know anyone. Nothing was like it was at home. We didn't even dare to eat the food. <laughs> and then we came to Nebraska. Mm. And nobody could understand <laughs> our English. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to make silly signs <laughs> whenever we wanted anything. Mm, yes. Mm. Yes. That's what it's like for Billy. He still feels like an outside. How would you change him? I don't know. Maybe there is a way. I will give him one more chance. Independence Day is two weeks away, I was thinking maybe I could enter Freya and Tucson in the pulling contest. I would like you to help me with the training. Maybe we could win. Just the heat. This harness hasn't been used for years. Why don't you use a regular harness? Because a pulling contest is much more weight than plowing. To win, the team will have to pull five, maybe six thousand pounds. They must start with great force and keep pulling very, very hard. Snap is much too warm. Let's go to the barn and get another. Billy, come here. Take the lines. Be back soon.
I'm sorry I told the other boys you were not so good with milking. You sure put that Sven Steen's one in his place. He won't bother you anymore. Aren't you glad we're gonna be in the contest, Billy? If it makes your pie easier to live with, then I'm glad. But I can't see what pulling a bunch of stones around the pasture proves. Can I hold the lines? Sure. Why'd your pa change his mind? I think he decided to end the contest for you. He hopes the contest will make you like it better here. And so do I. I'm glad you came to live with us, Billy. It's like having a brother all over again. <laughs> to hold the team. If you had held the lines tight, even with the thunder, they never would have run. You teach my son sinful ways. You shame me in front of my neighbors. And now, because you refuse to do as I ask, Olaf might have been killed. But, Papa! Olaf, go to the house. Tonight, I will write Miss Hill. It is no good. You will go back. Go ahead! Ryder! I don't need you or your stinking farm! Why are you stinking horses? I don't need anything! Billy! What are you doing here? Some night, huh? Danny, I'm leaving. I've had it. It's stormy. Where are you going? Ah, uh, it's just a little wind. I figured to walk to Central City in four days. Look, I got food and I know which trail to take. From there, I can hop a train and head east. So, you want to come? No, Billy, I don't. The Hansons, they ain't such bad people. The old lady makes a fuss over me, and I make the old man laugh. And they said they want to adopt me. Don't you understand, Billy? It's a chance to be somebody, not just a dirty orphan kid. It's a chance for a home at last. Danny! Danny! Danny, the prairie's on fire. They must plow a fire break to stop it. Hitch up the horses. in this house taken by a boy like that. He is not taking Christian's place. Christian is gone. Ho, Bill. ho. We can love his memory, but not his ghost. Billy is a good boy. He will find his own place in our hearts. He already has. There has been too long an emptiness for our dead son. Olaf needs a brother. And we need someone with whom to... Share our love. I want our sadness to end. I want to hear laughter again in this house. 
Please go look for him. You must. The fire is coming. I must finish this fire brick. We will look for Billy in the morning. Tonight, he must take care of himself. Yeah, we are. Yeah, go then. Some water. Look to the house. Nils? Nils? It's raining. Give me another chance. I don't want to go back. I want to stay to be here with all of you. Can we start again? It is I who need a second chance. I was uh, stubborn and foolish. Yes, we can start again. And again and again if we have to. But I don't think I can enter the pulling contest. Teach me to drive the team. I can help. I can do it. I promise I can do it. Yes. I believe you can. And the final contestants are Virgil Slater's team and the Anderson Mares. Whoa. Whoa. You're looking fine. Good luck, Billy. Ready? Don't worry. 
Remember what I told you, these horses have a lot of heart. They will pull for you. Oh, there. Well, Anderson, looks like we'll finally get to see what your marriage can do against my geldings, huh? Girls against the boys. Remember, this ain't New York, son. Don't let them run away with you. <laughs> I hope I don't let you down. Do your best. You won't let us down. Good luck. Drivers, line up your teams and go to the starting areas. Ooh. Ooh. The weight is now 7,300 pounds. and Tosin. This is it. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, go Freya and Tosin! Later. Good job, young man. Darn good job. Nice job. Good job. Billy, no, you did great. We're both so proud of you. Oh, you were wonderful. I wanted to win so bad. You did fine, just fine. <laughs> Let's go home. Wonderworks was made possible by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. With additional funding from this station and other public television stations. And the National Endowment for the Arts. This is PBS.